Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today's book is Story from the Bible, or a Rag to Riches from 1990. So let's get started. When, when the trader who bought Joseph reaches Egypt, he put him up for sale in the marketplace. Immediately, Joseph was bought by an officer of Pharaoh, was rich with a big household, uh, gradually Joseph made himself more and more useful in the mansion, soon saw that Joseph was capable of running the mansion and put him in charge of all the servants and all the household money. Joseph spent wildly and managed very well. Soon the only decision had to make at home was what he felt like eating. That day, the day in the mansion, also became more interesting for for wife because she was attracted to the young Joseph. Joseph avoided her, no, avoided his employer wife as much as possible. More than once, he had to say, no, I will not betray my master, but the woman was determined to have Joseph make love to her. Finally, one faithful day, wife cornered Joseph. She grabbed at him. He pushed her roughly away, but she held on to his long, a lame cloth, and it came off. Joseph ran. When returned home, his wife met him and held out Joseph Lenincloth. Do you recognize this garment? She yelled. It belonged to this Hebrew you kept pr praising. Oh yes, he ran your household. Well, but now he tried to run your wife too. Horrified, ordered Joseph into prison. But there Joseph impressed the head of the prison with his ability to organize everything and everybody around him just as and just as he had impressed soon Joseph was in charge of the other prisoners. They were depending on him too. He even interpreted their dreams when they had trouble sleeping. Meanwhile there was trouble at the palace of Pharaoh. Pharaoh had dreamed that both Wait. Pharaoh had dreamed that bothered him, and no one could tell him what they meant. One dream had seven fat cows. They mean, wait, wait seven fat cows eaten by seven thin ones. Someone told Pharaoh about Joseph's ability to interpret dreams, and he was sent for right away. When Joseph heard Pharaoh's dream, he said Egypt is about to have seven years of good harvest, followed by, followed by seven years of famine. By this time in his life, Joseph was in the habit of advising everyone, so he continued it clear what to do. Some grain from the good years, so Egypt will not starve in the years with no harvest. Convinced and impressed by Joseph, Pharaoh selected him to follow the advice he he had just given. Everyone in the palace agreed with Pharaoh's decision. Even though Joseph was only thirty years old and had just came from right just come from prison, Pharaoh was so convinced of Joseph worse that he gave him clothes fit for a prince, a special ring, a gold chain and a lovely, well-born wife. Joseph put his power of organization to work. He went all over Egypt, selecting capable of men to be in charge in each area. Our storage house was built, and the grain from the good years started to fill them. Pharaoh had ordered that one-fifth of all the grain grown in Egypt for seven years be put in care of Joseph men, and so it was. With the eighth year, the grain stopped coming to the storage house. There was either no grain from a field or tiny one. 
most deceased colonel, farmer had nothing to market, so when they had eaten even their own stores. Egypt's then everywhere was beginning to starve. Now Pharaoh op- well, now Joseph opened up Storage's house and just uh, bruised their grain carefully to the hungry people. People in other country were also starving in Joseph's home of Canaan. His father and brother, along with their wives and children, was starving, but Joseph had heard that Egyptian had grain. Keeping his new favorite Benjamin at home, he sent his other sons to Egypt to buy grain from Pharaoh's assistant, whom everyone had heard about. A mitten to Joseph present, his brother did not recognize them, but Joseph knew them. He began to play a little game with his brothers. He treated them roughly and questioned them about their home in Canaan. He pretended to doubt everything they said. Finally, he said, let the youngest brother, Benjamin, come here to Egypt as a sign of good faith. The brother was upset because their father kept Benjamin close beside him. Always, Jacob remembered he had lost. Joseph, by letting him go with the oldest ones, well, let oh, let's see. Joseph, by letting him go with his oldest sons, but but Joseph settled the matter by selling them grain and order Simon, one of the wait, one of his oldest brothers, had at wait, held at his harches. Until his older brother returned with Benjamin, he also had the money paid back by each brother. Put, like, put back in their grain sack. Went out their knowledge. Jacob was very upset when he heard what had happened to Simon in Egypt. When he was confessed, when he was confused along with his sons, to how their money could have got back into their sack, he refused to let Benjamin go. Instead, Jacob proceeds out the Egyptian grain carefully to the many members of his family so it would last as long as possible. But after some time, all the grain was eaten. Jacob then faced his problem. Apart from Benjamin are see his children and their family starve, including himself. And Benjamin, he did not but he did the only thing he could do. He sent Benjamin to to his other son to Egypt to buy more grain and redeem the hotters, Simon. He sent gifts and money from the new grain as well as he returned money from the first trip. Jacob said getting the money back was an error. Some steward happened to be making it it must go back again on this British. Joseph played his brother. Like Joseph played with his brother to their amusement. He not only sold them grain, but also gave fine dinner for them. As a journey toward Canaan, however, the steward of Joseph's house followed and stopped them. He said, My lord is missing his silver. Uh, goblet. It is the one he drinks from, from and used in making prophecy. Which of you has told it? All the men doubt the thief, but Stuart searched each pack and found the goblet in Benjamin pack. All returned to Egypt. All were desperately frightened. Joseph received them but said they all must leave except the one who has stolen his goblet. That's the one or- ordered Joseph will become my slave here in Egypt. But Joseph could not keep his promise. They could not keep his pretending going. He suddenly sent everyone from the room except his brothers. Then he stood and spread his arm wide and said, I am your brother Joseph. How is my father? 
It took some time before the men from Canaan could believe this miracle, but they knew it was Joseph when they saw the love from which he embraced Benjamin. Now Joseph, the organizer, took over. He sent his brother home again with wagon, with wagon in order to bring the entire family to Egypt. Almost 70 people moved from Egypt like moved from Canaan and was settled in the air road near Joseph. It was almost too much for Jacob, for by now he was 130 years old. But when Jacob saw his beloved son, Joseph returned to him. Life flowed through his old veins. Jacob lived for 17 more years, a happy man. Jacob himself lived to be 110 and was much honored in his family. And that was for Rag to Riches for 1990. If you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.